Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Unknown Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're actually going to be covering something that uh, somebody had mentioned and they were uh, they were wondering how would you put a timer inside of your video like let's say you uh, you wanted to time something or how long it took you to do something or or you just wanted a stopwatch of some sort. So for this uh, I'm just going to show you guys uh, if you go online you go to your web browser and you search on YouTube uh, countdown timer and you just search you'll have a bunch of countdown timers all pop up, pop up which you can actually from YouTube I don't know if you guys know but you can download YouTube videos straight down to, onto your computer as a .mp4 format or it depends what kind of downloader you use but also you also have uh, count up timers as well like count up timers it really depends which one you want they have 100 minute ones and it really shouldn't take you that long to download because straight off YouTube and if it's a .mp4 form file it's, it's, it should go really fast like for me a 10 minute video downloads within 10 seconds so it shouldn't really take you guys at all as long but the sad thing is uh, iMovie personally doesn't have any feature regarding or where you can add an actual timer to your video, which is kind of sad. Um, I, I'm, I'm actually surprised that it doesn't have an actual feature that does that, but I'm sure they will because I know I know some people have actually suggested it to iMovie, um, to Apple. Like if you go to uh, Apple uh, iMovie support, you can actually suggest things and I've seen a lot of people actually suggest that. But today, purposes, I'm going to show you guys how you can do it. But we'll go around it since, well, so far we don't really have that feature in iMovie. So we're, as we can see, we have our little project here. And let's say I wanted to add a timer to it. Um, I actually did, I just uh, I just imported some footage, which I have no clue where it went. So I'm going to import it again. I'm going to just go, I have some, I already have some three, count. I have three counters already here that I downloaded. First, we're going to start with the, we just start with the 15 minute count count up. I mean count down, I believe. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drag it straight into my iMovie tutorials event. And it should import rather quickly, just because it's such a it's really really simple format and there's only one thing going on in the footage. Let's hope it didn't freeze on me here. Let's see here. I uh, I think I did just oh here we are I was on under rejected there we go under hide rejected now here's my other footage here's my first counter so I'm just gonna grab like let's say just grab like 25 seconds of that and drag it straight into my project up here and uh, it's probably gonna use up yeah all of the footage here as you can see and you see it's completely just blocked out in my footage you can't even see my original footage so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do a picture in picture and if you want further details on how I'm doing the picture in picture I do have a tutorial on that I might have a link in the description for that for you guys as well but uh, what you're gonna do is go to adjustments I'll do a quick tutorial adjustments cut away instead of cut away you're gonna have to go to picture in picture now you can see we have our timer in our video of our main footage and uh, you're probably going to want to expand that. So what you want to do is still under adjustments, go to the cropping feature right here, and you're going to go to crop. And now I'm going to actually crop this so we actually just get the timer and less of this black. And I was actually hoping that when I imported this file, the black would be completely ignored, but instead it really isn't. So we're going to just crop it more. That way you see our timer just a little bit bigger. Go back to picture and picture, and we're actually going to expand this, and then. You see, um, we can actually set it wherever in the video we want. So let's say we just want to set it right here. And now that, look at that we have our timer, or you could even do this, like this looks pretty good. Um, you crop only that section there, that way you have the timer. And you see we have a crop like, like so. Go back to picture in picture, and we actually can drag this off the screen, the rest of it. And as you can see, now we only have the timer on the screen. And as you play the video, you'll see You'll see the the timer rolling, and then you can see actual the actual footage rolling in the background as well. And uh, that there you guys are. There's your timer. You just simply just add it in, crop it in, and let me let me show you more of the timer here because it just really I was like towards the end of it. But here we are. Here's more of the timer going through while my footage is rolling. And uh, yeah, that should be it. You guys have any questions regarding? How I did this, or uh, if I didn't fully understand, I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as, as I can. And other than that, there you are. You just simply just adjust how you want it, and you can place it wherever you want. And uh, also, you just have to sync it. Like, let's say, like at the beginning of the footage, like you want the right at the beginning, as soon as your footage starts. So I'm gonna delete this. Actually, I'll show you guys one more example. You got start all the way at the beginning. Let's say you want it to like, drag it all the way to the beginning here. 
and we're gonna just grab the first 10 seconds here and drag it up and bring it straight up to our project now you see we have a zero and as soon as our footage plays the timer will start so what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to picture and picture I'm gonna go to crop just because we don't need all this extra black in here so I'm gonna crop just the right amount just like that just like that and actually this time I'll put it at the top of my screen so I'm gonna crop it just like around there now we have this footage it's a picture in picture and I'm gonna put it all the way at the top right hand corner expand it just a little bit more not quite that much and then put it all the way up into the corner here and there we are now we have a timer inside of our right at the beginning starting right at the beginning of the footage timer starts and we're rolling there's a timer and then you can do the exact same thing with a countdown timer on YouTube just by simply grabbing a I have another one here, footage, which I'm not really going to show you guys, but you can simply drag it in, import it, and they will actually show you show you guys and do the same thing with the countdown or count up timer. Hope you guys, uh, hope this tutorial helped. Like I said, uh, be sure to leave in comments below, and uh, you guys have a great day. Later. Let my life be the proof.